activity of equity over a certain time frame that we arbitrarily pick, which usually is going to be a month, a quarter, or a, a year, right? Months, quarters, years. That what, that's what we look at the income statement in, in. And the net income, the bottom line of the income statement, revenue minus expenses, is part of equity rolls in or closes out from accounting terminology it's a closing process net income rolling in to the equity is part of equity rolls into retained earnings for a corporation or owner's equity if it's a sole proprietorship or the multiple capital accounts for a partnership that's often one of the most confusing components which we'll try to clarify as we go through our practice problem in terms of how that rollover works and how you might see it working in accounting software like a QuickBooks or something like that. All right, so that's gonna be the idea. Now over here, we're gonna enter our transactions and then I'm gonna enter the transactions into our, our accounting equation here and then I'm gonna summarize it and we'll have a summary of it on this side. So within each of these categories, then we have the actual accounts, right? So within current assets, we have cash, undeposited funds, which we'll talk about later, accounts receivable, inventory, fixed assets. We've got furniture and equipment. If there were buildings, it would be buildings and land and whatnot. And then current liabilities, accounts payable, uh, payroll liabilities, payroll taxes, the equity. We have draws, owner's equity, because it's a sole proprietorship. If it was a corporation, they would be called capital accounts and draws would be, uh, would be dividends. We've got then the income statement, sales, and then all the expenses, cost of goods sold, insurance expense, and so on, expense, expense, expense. All right, so first we're gonna practice just starting to make this worksheet, which is just really an exercise in 